Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. This is a past, present, future concerning love. Let's see what's been going on, what's going on now, and what's most likely to happen. This is for the sign of Aries concerning love. Let's get an idea of what happened in the past. Ooh, cards are alive. Too many came out. I'm just going to make one more shuffle. Past energy. Yeah, I feel there was a connection here for you. It kind of, you've been struggling with it a long time. Although you felt it was a soulmate. You know, there was a lot of differences between you. Different aspects, different cultures. You know, and it was kind of trying to, a very difficult time understanding each other. There was a lot of ups and downs with this person, and I'm kind of getting, it got too stressful. And there was something said here, or an event that took place that was kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back. And you decided to change your direction very quickly. And it kind of ended, not necessarily abruptly. I'm kind of getting a surprise here on the way it ended, but this end, what I mean, it didn't happen abruptly is there was a lot of red flags, warning signs, you know, the energy between you, the tension between you was gaining, although you tried to work it out, it, it, it was just impossible at that time. What's going on in the present? Yeah, I mean, there is love here, but you've got an idea in your head of, you know, your ideal world. You have got choices here. I feel here there's a lot of indecision because there's also a lot of confusion. It could well be after a period of quiet, this person contacts you again. Although you were parted physically, emotionally, you were kind of still connected and there's there's still a lot of energy around this person as far as you're concerned, but you just don't know what to do about it yet. Let's get the future, near future. King of Pentacles, wow. Yeah, King of Pentacles going forward. I've got a feeling there's a decision here. This decision involves leaving somebody behind, leaving certain people behind, leaving certain circumstances behind because the goals that you're setting yourself just cannot include certain people in your life. So there's a, there's a letting go energy here. I mean, going forward, they, you know, you want stability. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This could be the person you're dealing with. This person wants to make a life with you. But at the moment, you're very uncertain. Let's get some more on this Two of Cups. Yeah, your feelings changed. Your view on this connection changed, your view on this person changed, and your view on yourself changed. <coughs> yeah, you went through some quite emotional changes. As I said, things that were said, yeah, it's, it's, it's like in the beginning you got carried away with your emotions and as I say, things got out of hand here. You felt over time that you was outgrowing this person. I'm picking up a little bit of immaturity. Now, for one or two of you, I'm picking up a child. You know, there's there's the connection with a, a sibling. It's... 
There was a lot of uncertainty. You didn't know how to handle the situation. Hmm. It could well be that this child relied on you for guidance, money, etc., etc. But there was either way, whether that was you know within the family or with a one-to-one -one connection, this person relied on you a lot. You kind of had to lead all the time. Now you know the present energy is to make a decision, and whichever way you're going to go on it. There's huge cancer energy here. So you could have cancer in your chart, your astrological chart. I'm not a, you know, I don't read horoscopes, so I don't take too don't take too much notice of this kind of energy because, you know, we can all show traits of all the other signs. You know, I'm an Aquarian, and I can show traits of an Aries. I can take the lead when I need to. I can put my authority down when I need to. So, you know, don't take too much notice of these signs. But either way, you're making a decision. It's kind of like you feel like a push-me-pull you. You don't really know which way to go. It could well be that there's you're in another connection. But you're certainly dealing with the past energy here. Some of you are even thinking of relocating, taking a holiday. Just, I'm, I'm just getting with this, just to get away to get your head straight. Let's have a look at this, King of Coins. Mm. Yeah, the decision on what to do about the past. There's a lot of reminisc reminiscence of the past. But what you can't get out of your head is the drama of the past. And the solution to this is letting go of all the negativity. But going forward into the next few weeks, I feel you'll still be trying to get stability with this person and taking it day by day, taking it very, very slowly. You've got the Four of Swords here. All you want is peace between you and this person. You want stability. But underneath that cool demur of yours, there is this feeling of you know, insecurity and wondering how to get stability with this person. You see this person as very, very erratic. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching.